Hello, it's Mark again. I'm back with another um, quick YouTube. And as you can see by the title, I'm going to talk about camera clubs and the pros and cons of them. I've been a member of a camera club for about, I think, about six years now. Um, my uh, So this is my personal view of camera clubs. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy going to my camera club. I mean, the camera club I'm a member of is quite a small one. Um, but there's photographers there from beginners to advanced and they all cover a lot of them cover different areas so for example there's a few landscape photographers there there's some sports photographers there's some wildlife photographers um, and there's um, some people who like taking portraits um, even as far as um, one of the members having their own studio so I'm just going to go through some of the pros first and some of the very few cons of joining um, a camera club. What I've put in front of you now is our syllabus for this year, which obviously has been cut short and it's been a bit hit and miss. Uh, I mean, the camera club's not meeting at the moment, but it will pick up at some point, hopefully. So as you can see, if we just look through, um, our year normally starts in September and finishes in May. And the idea of that is the better weather comes in May so you can get out and use your cameras. So as normal camera clubs, um, we have a committee and the committee do a really, really good job of putting the syllabus together, organising the competitions, organising the away days, organising um, the battles against other camera clubs locally. So as you can see here, uh, there's a var varying varying things on the syllabus from um, a laptop night where people can take in the laptops and um, do some editing or be shown how to use Lightrooms, Photoshop or other software. We also have challenge nights throughout the year and this is where um, somebody has come up with some challenges that we do and they're judged by, internally by the members of the club. So the first one, for example, is the rule of thirds and they go throughout the, out throughout the syllabus different themes. We also um, look at prints from the whole of the Yorkshire area. Um, I have taken out uh, some of the names uh, of the people in the club because they might not want the names plastered all over. We also have um, a few battles either at home or away with other camera clubs. So um, what this means is um, we have um, a committee who are a few people on the committee who choose images throughout from last year's images from the members in projected and printed and what we do is we put the best of them into a battle against other clubs and they're judged by an independent judge and then the totals have added up in the night and then whoever gets the most wins. We also have lectures as you can see here in October for example the 8th of October we had um, a gentleman called Gavin Prest come and who's a, an exceptional um, photographer um, in his field he does portraits but he his lighting is really really good. Um, I attended this one and it was brilliant. We also have critique, critique nights, I can get it out. Um, and for example, on October again, any landscape in portrait format, which is, you know, it's a twist on landscape photography. Uh, again, we have um, studio nights as well. Like I said, we have a gentleman who, who's part of a studio. So what we do is we he has a certain member number of members who can go up there um, and they hire a model and they use his lights and so on and, and they get they get tuition while they're there as well. They're very popular. If um, we're not doing a uh, if people are not interested in taking portraits, then we do something else that night in the club. What else have we got? Um, yeah, we have uh, lectures. Uh, you know, I uh, said we had Gavin. We also had uh, Paul G. Johnson come in February. Uh, he was really good. You've probably seen him on YouTube. He's a, he's a bit of a character, and his, his lecture was really, really good. Um, for me personally, I thought it was... Um, quite inspiring to see how he goes about um you know his youtube and his photography in general so that's the syllabus i'm not going to spend too long on it but you can see it there for yourself so what are the pros of being a member of a camera club 
um, the pros are you're going to meet like uh, like-minded individuals. Um, like I said, our camera club, for example, it is small, um, and we have a lot of new members this year. And some of the new members' photography is really, really good. And I think some of the, some of the people in the advanced category are in for um, a shock next year because the beginners this year, from what I've seen, were really, really good. So yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna be in a, a room with like-minded people. Um, and they're going to pass tips on to you um, during the course of the year at the camera club. You're going to find out a lot of information um, regarding the equipment you're going to use, um, composition, um, post-processing. Um, you'll also get a lot of tips about what that member feels about, what's the best gear for them. Uh, in what they're wanting to do. Um, other things, I think the syllabus of a camera club makes it. Um, I mean, in the past, as a camera club, we fell into the trap of just sitting there and looking through other people's images and it's okay to inspire or give you ideas, but you don't want it week in, week out. And I think over the last couple of years of our camera club, they've made a, a big effort to, to make it more varied, the syllabus, and I think it's working really, really well. Um, and it's it's good on the committee for, for moving forward. I think in the past, a lot of camera clubs have got the stigma of being old-fashioned and things like that and them days have gone now with digital photography them days have gone people want to get out and take photos they want to be taught how to use their equipment um, properly by existing members other pros um, I think it's inspiration as well you know I go to the camera club I'm quite picky about what I go to the camera club now. I don't go every week. I'll pick out what I want from the syllabus and I'll go. That's just how it is with me with work and things like that. Um, but I think if you ain't week in and week out, you would get inspired. Um, and you get to know people who are into the ta same type of um, photography as you. And you can go out with them anytime you want um, other than the camera club nights. So, yeah, camera club. I enjoy it. It's not for everybody. Um, now to the cons of, of the camera club there's not that many um, but the ones I've come across personally is when I first joined the camera club I was expecting to go up there with my camera bag and somebody just to sit down with me and show me how to use the camera um, in my case that didn't happen but I think as camera clubs especially our camera club now it does happen more than it does happen now where somebody will take you to one side and show you the basic settings and what this does and that does um, because I think the camera clubs have realized they need to do more than that they need to do more of that type of thing I mean for example I've I've had people contact me via the camera club and I've met them at a local country park and walked around with them um, and showed them how to use filters and I know a lot of other members do similar things as well. Um, and that's one of the good things about a camera club. They do have away days. So, for example, our camera club's been to Brimham Rocks. We've been to um, Yorkshire Sculpture Park. And I know a lot of the members have done other things as well. When I had the year off, I think they went to you know, the Yorkshire Dales and things like that and had a walk around. And I think all that is good because that's what people want out of a camera club. The biggest con I found... Or the biggest negative about um, camera clubs is when you enter images into um, competitions and they're getting judged externally. I can see why people are scared to enter co uh, to enter competitions where you, your images is going to get get judged. One of the first things one of the members said to me at, at the camera club I went to is, "Just as long as you like the image, it doesn't matter what anybody says." which is great, but when you enter an image into a, a competition, and I think this is just general comp photography competitions anyway, that judge may not like the type of photography you do. And I think that and that then will reflect in the marks you get. You know, if, you, if you've got a judge who's mainly a portrait photographer and you start putting landscape images in there or 
you know, um, macro images or contemporary type images, they're not going to like it because it's not their thing. So the biggest lesson I learned by uh, being a member of a camera club is don't take it to heart. And I, on occasions, have. And I've probably thrown my teddy out. But don't take it to heart. The, th the thing that gets me is, you know, you... Um, for example, the battles we have, um, home and away, they're, all, they're always a different judge. So you might get... And the, the images are judged out of 20. So you might enter an image that one week gets a 20 from a judge you know so it top marks they love it brilliant it gets a clap two weeks later in another battle with another judge it gets 13 and this is what i didn't like about being entering images into um competitions it was just that that unreliability of the judges but it's not their fault it's because they just might not in, be into that type of photography. So that's probably all the cons I've got. So the main lesson I've learned from being a member of a camera club is get involved. Yeah, get involved. Take images down for people to look at, other members to look at. And don't be scared of when um, other members or judges that you've never met before critique your work don't take it to heart because in the end if you like the image that's all that matters one of the traps i fell into a couple of years ago when i was doing um, a lot of landscape photography is i was going out taking images and in the back of my mind i had the thought of will a judge like this what will a judge pull up when i take this image do i need to do i need to do this differently so the judges will like it and in the end, you just tied yourself in knots and it puts you off going out taking photos. And I've come back from that now. You know, I had 12 months off and I um, I put photos out there in the public arena on Instagram, um, Facebook, YouTube that I know people aren't going to like and the majority of people won't like them. But in the end, I took that image because I liked it and I processed it the way that I, I imagined that image to be. My last couple of uh, YouTube things have been Lightroom's editing. You know, the first one, um, I on purpose made it all dark. Some people, uh, you know, have mentioned that they don't like it, it's too dark. Great, that's your opinion, yeah? But that's the image I had in my head. When I saw that scene in front of me, that's what I imagined it was going to look like when it came out of pro processing. So, yeah, that's it. That's enough for me talking about camera clubs. I would recommend to anybody who's just starting photography or are into photography and want to meet people locally, I would look at uh, camera clubs in your local area. I mean, I'm going to give a shout out to mine. My camera club is the Batley and District Camera Club. It's a small camera club. They usually meet on a Tuesday at seven o'clock. No, half past seven, sorry. Um... At the moment, that's all stopped. But um, if you Google them, you will find their website and you will find useful information on there as well, including the syllabus, syllabus I've just shown you. So, yeah, a big shout out to all the people at Batley Camera Club um, and thank you for the committee because I know it's been difficult for you to do what you do. So thanks for listening. <laughs>